Right, back again. Uh, <coughs> let's look at the uh, recovery EA. Uh, I'm a bit different to many of the other people that uh, just make loads and loads and loads of EAs or indicators. Uh, they don't use themselves. I've only basically got this three out of which I'm uh, only using two, which is the Bollinger Band EA and the Recovery EA. Uh, the reason for this being, uh, I do not want to run too many things at the same time. I just prefer to do one or two things at a time and to concentrate on what I'm doing. And I will not recommend uh, anything that I am not using personally myself. Uh, things that I or what you can see or follow on my website are things that I'm actually using with my own money too. So uh, I think if I trust my own money onto it, well, it says a lot for the EA. Righto. With that said, let's look at the uh, charts of the uh, uh, Ichimoku uh, Recovery EA. As you can see, same as on the previous uh, charts, we had a breakout over here. You had a close below the top of the uh, cloud and you had a close outside the cloud again. Uh, and so on the opening of this candle over here, uh, the system placed a buy order and it bought over there. Immediately, it's gonna set the stop loss at minus 40 and you'll take profit uh, 160 or 120 or whatever you set it to. It will also immediately place a sell stop order on the, the, the stop loss with a take profit down here and a profit level, a stop loss level up here again where your entry was. This becomes the channel uh, of 40 pips over here. The, the, the distance from the first trade's opening price to the first trade stop loss becomes your channel. So every time if you do not reach your target like over here you came down, came down, came down and here you can see you hit your stop loss right and it went down a little bit entered you into a uh, sell trade you didn't get it it came back up stopped you out of the, the the sell trade put you back into a buy trade again it didn't go up came back down again stopped you out of the the the, the buy trade entered a new sell trade and it came down and hit the target on the sell trade now this is actually a perfect example of how the system works every time you go through the channel you either hit a stop loss here and you go into a trade in the opposite direction or you're going to hit a stop here and you'll trade into the opposite direction again. Until you hit a profit level like here, the system will continue for a maximum of 12 trades. Once again, I do not want to go over 12 trades because if you look at the uh, calculator, uh, you will see exactly why I say that. Uh, I just do not like going over my 12 trades because the margin becomes too high. The minute you are trading uh, the the the, the any of the uh, futures or the indices or something like that your margins are very very high the reason for that i don't know uh, that's up to the brokers i suppose but i have noticed that instaforex has got when i'm trading the indices instaforex has got one of the lowest margins uh, that's why i'm using instaforex all these years and also because of the leverage i mean i've got a one to one thousand uh, leverage on my accounts so that helps a lot when you're doing this kind of trading. I must emphasize, I know a lot of people will say this is martingale trading, but it isn't really. Uh, we are just trying to recover some of the losses. We are concentrating on the amount of pips that you're making your risk reward ratio. And every time your, your potential profit equals your losses you've had, only then will we start to increase the trade size. By the doing this, we are minimizing the amount of times that you are increasing your trade size. So, also we reach a point where we will not increase anymore. Unlike Martingale systems that they don't have a stop loss. They'll just keep adding, 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 adding on and eventually they wipe your account. Uh, I know I've used many Martingale trading systems already in my life and every single time, yes sure, at times they make you a lot of money, but believe me, in the end of the day, you will. Uh, land up land up being the loser so with that said let's have a look at the that i've explained how it works over here now let's look at the settings of the ea let me just switch here to the uh, other account we are right here we are and let's just go and switch on the uh, settings quickly right here we've got the settings 
Let me just move this a little bit out of the way, put it over here. You can see the magic number. Now the magic number is very important that you change this number for every time, every EA uh, on your account. The only bad thing I uh, experience with uh, my EAs, these EAs, you cannot run two EAs on one account. It won't work because the system is based on counting the uh, profitable and lose loss uh, consecutive losses on your account. Uh, should you run two A's on the one on the same uh, account, uh, it could uh, get mixed up or tangled up, and uh, your your settings won't work correctly. That's why it's easy enough just to open an extra account and then trade every EA on a separate account. Uh, by Forex, Insta Forex is very easy to open up a second account. There's no no extra PD to that. Right, but anyhow, with that said, there's a magic number. You'll set your magic number there to whatever you want. Take profit. That's the profit level at which you want to climb out. 160, 120, or whatever you want to set it to. Your stop loss. That's the maximum amount that we are prepared to lose. I normally watch my stop loss and I set my risk reward ratio between these to get a 1 to 3 or a 1 to 4 uh, ratio over there. Your slippage. Now, this is something uh, that is quite critical. If you set your slippage too small, uh, remember you are trading the, 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 the footsies and the indices, uh, so you need a big slippage over here because, uh, you know, to take 200 pips or 100 pips on the euro dollar, for instance, you need quite a big trade. But to take 100 or 160 pips here on the uh, indices, that could happen in easily in a day. I mean, if you go and look at the average range of the uh, indices per day, it is uh, quite a lot of pips that's lying over there. So I set this to 10 uh, to make sure that I do not get the requotes, 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 and then eventually don't get the trade. Because normally it's the good trades that uh, you will miss out on then if you set this too, too, too slow. The opening filter, that's the maximum uh, gap between, let's say if you're looking over here, the maximum gap between, let's say that price that is closed outside of the uh, chart into the new candles opening price. So the maximum gap over here must be that five pips or whatever you set it to be. Then the lots, uh, the lots you can set these lots to anything you wish. Uh, I normally use my calculator, which I've made. I calculate my lots out and I set each trade's lots. I have given you, uh, or I've made this EA uh, versatile enough that you can go and set the lots according to how you want to risk your money. Uh, the normal other EAs, you can't set this. Uh, the EA is just going to multiply the lot multiplier or whatever and set the lots according to what has been calculated out there. I make this so you can set your own lots to suit your risk appetite. The Ichimoku, yeah, you can see I'm using the standard settings for the Ichimoku 9, 26, 52. You can also, if you think that the, the, the risk is getting too big or you want to slow it down, double this up. 18, 52, and 104. Uh, those settings also work very, very nice. Just you'll have a lot less trades. Uh, your trades will be a little bit more accurate, but you'll have a lot less trades for that. Now, with that said, I think I have covered about basically all there is to cover on the recovery system. Uh, as I've mentioned many times before, uh, I am busy in the process setting up the MyFX book, uh, so you'll be able to follow all the trades. Uh, on my FX book and uh, you can see if I'm busy bullshitting you or not uh, What I'm saying is not the alpha and the omega uh, Of a trading I mean uh, what I say is everybody is up to you to do your own analysis and uh, Check things out make sure you're happy with something or somebody or whoever's EA or Indicator or signals or whatever you want to follow uh, check them out normally uh, and make sure that it is uh, going to satisfy your needs and that it is uh, achievable as well over a long time. As there are many, 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 you know, even on Facebook, loads of people contact me with uh, EAs they are selling. Uh, oh boy, I can tell you, they're all there. I normally, when a guy contacts me, I normally just put it on uh, the shelf for a while and about three months or six months later, I see if it's still there. And if it's still there, then maybe I will go and have a look at it. Because there's so many uh, emails coming in, like uh, guys sitting in the castle around a table, and 
Oh my God, I can tell you. It's just so many. I've even bought some of them and tried some of them. Uh, yeah, okay, I don't know. <clears throat> they just didn't work for me, put it this way. That's why I try to keep it as simple as possible, uh, as easy as possible. And uh, should you rent an EA by me, uh, you will have my uh, personal email. Uh, and also you can email me on my website, uh, footsietrader.com. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, I will try to give you the best assistance I can possibly give to you. Considering you must consider the time difference between wherever you are. And at this point of time, I'm in Cambodia, planning to move over to Vietnam in the near future. Uh, righto. With that said, uh, all I can say is happy trading. Watch the videos. Uh, watch the uh, results every month coming out. And uh, if you like what you see, click on the like button, click on the like button down at the bottom. And yes, let's see, we can maybe uh, get things going and maybe make some extra money. And once again, I'm going to repeat, if you are jobless and you think that you're going to jump into uh, InstaForex or into any Forex trading or any kind of trading whatsoever, and you are going to make a living now, please think again. Uh, unless you've got capital, of course, to carry you through the, uh, uh, the, the setup stages and the learning stages. I would suggest rather not. Uh, rather find yourself another job, honestly. Uh, just by that I could have maybe saved you a fortune. Really, if you're not into trading and if your heart is not set right and your mindset isn't correct, please rather don't do it. You're going to lose your money. I mean, I have been struggling for a long, long time against all odds to try and become profitable. And at last, I mean, it took me maybe 12 years before I started becoming profitable. And that's mainly because I changed my mindset about trading. Trading is not about how good you are, how good you can read the markets. It's about your mindset. It's how you see and how you feel about trading. Uh, that's the main thing. If you can get that into order and you can get your risk reward ratios correct, your money management correct, surely you are going to land up making money. You will not be making the big fortunes people are showing. Definitely not, but you will make money. You can earn a decent living or uh, be able to survive on a small investment like 5000 or $10,000. You'll be able to live on it. Uh, you won't be able to live like a, a billionaire like they show you on all these uh, videos, but you'll be able to live on it. I mean, I have and uh, <clears throat> I still am at times, but just at times when I do need to uh, withdraw some money from my trading account for some personal reasons or whatever, uh, then I need to find myself a teaching job here in Southeast Asia just to fill up my income again. But once I get back up to 5000 or a little bit above $5,000 in my trading account, I stop teaching and I just concentrate on my trading. Uh, righto guys, with that, happy trading. Hope to see you in the future again. Take care.